because I don't think anybody else is joining us this morning. So uh, we got a two part warm up. For the second part, you're going to need a dumbbell or a kettlebell or some kind of weight. First part is going to be body weight, and then we'll grab a weight and I'll go over the second part. All right, guys, if everybody's ready, we might as well get started. Okay. Everybody's ready to go? Yes. All right. So first part, two rounds. Uh, we're going to do 10 walkouts. So the walkout is going to start in that standing position. We're going to bend on over at the hip, try to get those hands to touch the ground. Then we're going to walk on out to that plank position. If from this position, you want to give a little rotation, you can do that for some thoracic mobility. And then we're just going to walk those hands back to those feet and stand on up. So we're going to do 10 walkouts. After those 10 walkouts, we'll do 10 side lunges. Again, standing up in that feet under hip position, we're going to step to the side. We're going to lunge onto that opposite foot. So when you're lunging onto this leg, I want you to make sure you keep that foot flat on the ground. So we're going to step to the side. I'm going to lunge onto this foot, keep, that, keep this foot flat on the ground, stand on up, and then lunge in the opposite direction. Ten lunges, so five to each direction, and then a 20-second hollow hold. You're going to do that for two rounds. So whenever you're ready to get started on that first part, go right ahead. Ten walkouts, ten side lunges, 20-second hollow hold. Thank you. 
Okay, so looks like everybody's finishing up that first part. Part two, you're going to need a kettlebell or a dumbbell or whatever weight you are going to be using for today's workout. All right, so part two, again, it's two rounds. This time we're going to incorporate our dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm going to start warming up those moves we're doing in our Metcon. So we're going to start with a sumo deadlift. Big difference between a sumo deadlift and regular deadlift, your stance. Regular deadlift, hips are just outside, uh, feet are just outside your hips. Sumo, we're going to go nice and wide with those toes pointed slightly out. So I'm using a kettlebell here. I'm going to hinge those hips back slightly. Start to squat down, grab that kettlebell, and stand on up. So the first movement is a hip hinge to bring it back. Then a slight bend in the knees to squat to have that kettlebell touch. And stand on up. So we'll do 10 sumo deadlifts. After those 10 sumo deadlifts, we're going to do some high pulls from the hip. So we're going to stand that dumbbell up or deadlift it up. I want you to do a high pull up to the shoulder. So I want you to lead with the elbows. So we don't want the elbows down. Lead with the elbows up to that chest. We're going to do 10 high pulls. After those 10 high pulls, we're going to get back into that sumo stance. I'm going to do 10 sumo deadlift high pulls. We're incorporating those first two moves, the sumo deadlift, the high pull. But now we're going to do from the ground, sumo deadlift high pull. So use those legs and get that kettlebell or that dumbbell moving. And the fourth movement I'm sorry, I'm saying 10 reps. We're doing five reps of each movement, right? So five sumo deadlifts, five high pulls from the hang or from the hip, five sumo deadlift high pulls from the ground. Then we're going to take that kettlebell or dumbbell, bring it up to our shoulder, and do five presses on each side. All right, so five presses on each side. And then five straight legged sit-ups. So instead of that butterfly position, we're just going to have those legs straight out in front of us. Shoulders touch the ground, sit on up, keeping those legs straight. So two rounds, five sumo deadlift, five high pulls from the hip, five sumo deadlift high pulls from the ground, five presses on each side, five sit-ups, Two rounds. Coach, if we have a dumbbell, do we hold it? I'm sorry, like what was that? If we have a dumbbell, do we do we hold it like this or like this? Uh, I would hold it by the heads. Okay. Yep. So that first movement, that deadlift, we're just going up to the hip. We're coming from the ground, standing on up. We don't need to pull it all the way up here. Just standing up first, then we're gonna do a high pull after that. That's it, so keep those arms nice and straight, just like if you were de deadlifting with a, a barbell. Good, that's it. Just five of these? Yes, five deadlifts, yes. five high pulls, five sumo deadlift high pulls five presses sorry can you show the high pulls again yeah so the high pull is just literally we're gonna have that dumbbell from the hang pulling up with those elbows leading with those elbows up to that chest okay. that's it yep A big thing to focus on those high pulls, making sure those elbows are higher than your dumbbell or kettlebell. So we don't want those elbows down. 
Sorry, and then <laughs> uh, I kind of missed everything. Then a total. Then we're gonna high pull. So back to that nice wide stance. Dumbbells on the ground, and we're gonna go from the ground up to that high pull position. So we're gonna use those legs more. Drive with those legs, and then use those arms to get that kettlebell or dumbbell the rest of the way. Good. So I think you left out your presses. Five presses. Oh, I did. Like yep. On each side. Okay. Five presses on each side, correct. And then your five sit-ups. I can't do sit-ups, so I have to do those uh, lady buds. That's fine. Okay. Because we're doing V-ups in the workout, so if you want to just warm up with V-ups or tuck-ups, that's fine. Do that. Yeah, nice job, guys. Just two rounds, right? Just two rounds, yep. Okay. We got a fairly long workout today, so. And I think just got Valerie finishing up and we'll get. <clears throat> All right, guys, today's workout. It's fairly long. We got a 20 minute AMRAP. Three movements eight V ups or tuck ups. I'll go over those. Uh, 10 hang clean and jerks with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And then 12 sumo deadlift high pulls, just like we did in the warm up. So the V up or tuck up. We'll start on the ground. All right, ideally, nice and flat, hollow body position. 
We're gonna bring those hands up to touch those toes, back down, okay? Nice and straight legs, nice straight arms, touching those toes. That becomes too difficult or 15 minutes in, you're like, I can't do these anymore. We're gonna go to tuck ups. So the tuck up starts in that same position, straight arms, straight legs, hollow body position. But now we're just tucking up. Can you guys see this or do I need to bring this iPad down? Good, okay. So those are your two options. V up, straight arms, straight legs, making a nice V, touching those hands to those toes, or tuck up, hollow body position, tucking ourselves in, and doing eight tuck ups. After those, we're gonna grab our kettlebell or a dumbbell, and we're gonna do it from the hang. So we're gonna need to deadlift it one time, up to the hang position. Swing it through our legs, clean it up to our shoulder, dip, drive, press it overhead. Back down, shoulder, dip, drive, press overhead. So you're gonna do, how many total? We'll do 10, so we're gonna do five on each side. You can do all five on the right, then switch to your left. 10 total, hang clean and jerks. And then we're gonna do 12. How do you do, do that 12. with a dumbbell? Sorry, how do you do that with a dumbbell? Um, basically same concept, you're just gonna hold it by okay. the handle, one hand at a time. Basically the same thing other than the kettlebell kind of like wraps itself around your wrist where the dumbbell yeah. doesn't. So you're just gonna clean it up to here, dip, drive, press it overhead. So pretend my water bottle is my dumbbell, hold it at the center, clean it up to my shoulder, dip, drive, press it overhead. Kettlebell just kind of swings around more in your hands, but it's the same, same motion. Swing it back through your legs like a kettlebell swing, up to your shoulder, dip, drive, Press it overhead. Now when you get to that nice wide stance, we did these in the warm up. Sumo deadlift, high pulls. Hinge those hips back, slight squat to grab that handle. Drive from those legs and hips up nice and high, touch it back down. Rep scheme is eight, 10, 12. Eight V ups, tuck ups, 10 hang clean and jerks, 12 sumo deadlift, high pulls. And we're going to do that for 20 minutes. Um, I don't remember doing this in the open. I don't remember exactly how it was in the open, but I'd have to look that up. This was one of the open workouts in 2018. So if you guys were doing CrossFit then, you can compare your numbers. I think it was toes to bar, clean and jerks and rolling, if I'm not mistaken. So that one was not fun. Any questions? Sorry, and for the second one, are you doing 10 total? Or ten you five on each side. side. Right. So five yep. on each side. Okay, got it. Yep. So you don't have to alternate them. You can do five on the right, then five on the left. Got it. Yep. You don't Thank have you. to alternate every rep. All right. If there's no questions, I will cue the clock up. It's a twenty-minute AMRAP, so as many rounds as you can do in twenty minutes. Just make sure the clock is counting up. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. Everybody set. Eight tuck ups or V ups. Ten clean and jerks from the hang position. Twelve sumo deadlift high pulls. All right, guys. Ten seconds. And we go in two, one, and go. 20 minutes of work. Oh, she has your phones in. That's it. Nice job, David.
Pam, when you do those high pulls, I want you to stand more upright. Instead of bending over at the waist and doing the high pull, think about squatting down, keeping that chest up higher and doing the high pull. So try to stay more chest upright instead of bending over at the waist. That's it. Good, much better.
That's it, guys. Nice job. Six and a half minutes in. That's it guys, nice work. That's it, guys. Nice pace. You guys keeping up a really good pace. That's it, Pam. Much better on those high pulls. Very good. Halfway there. All right, you guys are halfway through. Ten more minutes.
That's it, guys. Nice work. Less than eight minutes to go. Take uh, six minutes to go. Nice work. You guys, five minutes left. You got the last five minutes of work. Last four minutes. All right, guys, down to the last three, last three minutes.
That's it, guys. Keep pushing. Just about two minutes left. That's it. We're under two minutes. Under two minutes. You guys got at least another round here. Come on. That's it, Valerie. Come on. Ninety seconds. Last ninety seconds. That's it, guys. Let's continue to push. One minute. All right, guys, final minute of work. Final minute. Just continue to move for 50 seconds. 50 more seconds. Don't stop now. All right, guys, final 30 seconds, final 30 seconds. That's it, guys, almost done. Don't stop, 15 seconds left. Just continue to move. That's it, guys. All right, we're down two, five. Two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. Nice work, everybody. Anybody got more than 15 rounds? 12. I got 13. Nice. Lucky 13. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I did 12. Nice. 12 and one rep. Oh. By, missed it by one rep? No, no. 12 plus one rep. Plus, 12 plus one. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. That one rep counts a lot. Oh, sorry. 14 plus one rep. Oh, there you go. Even better. <laughs> nice. nice work. Into the 15th round. Good job. Oh, shit. More than I thought. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> I was just throwing coins. Oh, look. good. That's a good way to do it. You don't think about it. Wow. Thanks so much. <laughs> you guys have a great day. You too, guys. Yeah. Nice work, everybody. I'll it's see you guys. Day. Happy Thank hour. You. If not, I'll see Thanks you guys next week. Have a good, have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Nice work, everybody. Bye.